This is Med School Radio. Welcome back to another episode of Med School Radio. We'll be looking at another Lang Biochemistry and Genetics flashcard. Again, looking at lipid metabolism, and this time will be medium chain acyl CoA dehydrogenase deficiency. So, first, we're going to read the case, and then I will talk about the details. And this will take about five minutes, I think. So, an eight month old male presents to the emergency room after suffering a seizure at home. The child's parents report that the infant has been suffering from a mild gastrointestinal illness over the last day with vomiting and diarrhea. Physical exam is notable for hepatomegaly. Laboratory studies demonstrate hypoglycemia, hyperammonemia, and ketones in the urine. You immediately begin treating the patient with IV fluids and dextrose infusion. You inform the uh, parents that the child would benefit from further screening to evaluate for an inherited deficiency in an enzyme responsible for fatty acid degradation, since this condition has been associated with sudden death due to cerebral edema and coma if not managed appropriately. So again, this is medium chain acyl CoA dehydrogenase deficiency. So the biochemical defect here is an autosomal recessive disorder caused by a deficiency in the enzyme acyl CoA dehydrogenase. Acyl CoA dehydrogenase is involved in the first step of fatty acid oxidation and acts to remove electrons from the alpha and beta carbon atoms in the fatty acid chain so as to form a double bond. When acyl-CoA dehydrogenase is deficient, fatty acid oxidation and energy production are impaired. Monocarboxylic and dicarboxylic fatty acids build up in the cytoplasm of the cell and can lead to cellular damage, particularly in the liver. Clinically, patients tend to present in infancy or early childhood with hypoketotic hypoglycemic encephalopathy, which can be severe enough to lead to cerebral edema, coma, and sudden death. Hepatomegaly is also often present. Symptoms are often triggered by viral illnesses or periods of fasting. The lab findings would be elevated liver transaminases, hypoglycemia, hyperammonemia, and ketones in the urine. And lastly, regarding the treatment, it is avoidance of fasting, treatment of hypoketotic, hypoglycemic state with dextrose infusion. So thanks for tuning in again to MedSchool Radio, and we will see you next time. Mm-hmm.